Okay, here we are at the site of a side discharge variable speed outdoor unit here. And inside we have a TAM9 variable speed indoor unit. And we're kind of in a really awkward place here. So we built this nice treated stand and we've got gravel filling the inside of that. And we are at 100% in cooling mode right now. Whisper quiet. Some details here. This was where some furnace venting was and we built a nice custom cover plate and for our refrigerant lines to go in and for our electrical to mount. So that's really nice. Just a beautiful job out here. Awesome. And then when we go inside, so we did quite a bit of work here. So this is our air handler. This used to be a gas furnace. So we got rid of that. So we did some duct modifications here too. But look at that beautiful work. Nice straight lines. Excellent job. And in here, here's our duct work. This was a 14 inch supply trunk and it was horribly designed. Um, I may put a picture of that in this video here. We upsized this to an 18 inch. This is a four ton heat pump, so we need to move, be able to move some air. And so we upgraded that and we redid our takeoffs. We built an actual manifold. The old supply trunk only came out about to here, so about five feet, and all this flex duct came all the way back. It was just terribly designed. It wasn't sealed. Uh, we resealed everything on the system on both sides, re-insulated. Um, and upsized quite a few ducts. And we also added a return duct to this. So we got our total static pressure down to 0.6, um, which is, is about as good as we can do with what we have to work with here. But overall, just an excellent, excellent job.